Welcome friendly folk. Today I will be giving an overview on what is in my opinion the best cornerstone to anyone's investing strategy. What we are going to be talking about today is Roth IRAs. The best part about them is that they grow 100% tax free. This is another installment in the beginner's guide to investing. A whole series I have cooked up that makes the complexities of investing nice and simple. If you're new to investing or personal finance and are interested in either beginning or improving improving your financial journey, then hit that subscribe button and I will post videos every week to help you find success on your money adventure. Without any further ado, let's kick it. Always remember that I have no license after my name and this is just my opinion on this subject matter. Thank you. Let me tell you a story about Tommy Wilkins. Tommy? He's a rabbit. He's got a little garden patch in which he's planted carrots, potatoes, beans, and many different types of squash. He sells his produce in the market, and though he's young, he's decided he's gonna start saving for retirement so that he can take his grand bunnies to Peter Rabbit World whenever he dang well pleases. Now, Tommy Wilkins is self-employed, so he has no access to company-sponsored retirement plans. After doing some research, Tommy decides to open himself up an IRA, or an individual retirement account. In reviewing his options, Tommy discovers that there are two different different types of IRAs, traditional and Roth. Not understanding the difference, Tommy jumps on his old bunny book and starts searching out the answers on the old cottontail net. So let's leave Tommy there in his research and let me explain to you why he will discover that a Roth IRA is exactly where he will want to put his retirement savings. The single greatest advantage to a Roth IRA is that your money will grow 100% free of capital gains taxes. If you're wondering what capital gains taxes are, then check out my video up here or below to find out exactly what those are. Unfortunately, you cannot just dump however much money you want to into a Roth IRA every year. Where there are good things, there are most definitely always rules protecting those good things. I am going to cover the three main rules in this video, and I will link to a really good article for further researching in the description box below. Rule number one has to do with maximum contributions. The maximum contributions you can make to a Roth IRA changes every couple of years. As of right now, you can contribute up to $6,000 annually so long as you are under 50 years old. If you are over 50 years old, you can add what they call a catch-up amount, which is an additional $1,000, bringing your $6,000 per year up to a total of $7,000 per year. So under 50, $6,000 max, over 50, $7,000 max. Rule number two has to do with income-based eligibility. You are only eligible to contribute to a Roth IRA if you make under a certain amount of money. If your tax status is married filing jointly, then you and your partner are eligible to contribute up to $6,000 per year as long as you make combined less than $193,000 annually. If your tax status is single, then you are eligible to contribute the max amount, which again is $6,000, if you make less than $122,000 annually. The final rule I will be going over in this video is when you are able to withdraw from a Roth IRA without penalties. The US government sees a Roth IRA as a retirement specific account. Therefore, they have put up guidelines that do not allow you to withdraw money from it without penalties until you are at least 59 and a half. Side note, there are certain cases where you can pull your money from a Roth IRA. I will make another video specifically pointing out the rules around IRA withdrawals because they are vast. Let's jump back now to our old rabbit friend, Tommy Wilkins. He's wrapped up his research in addition to three freaking bags of baby carrots. He's decided that his goal is to make the max contribution of $6,000 per year to his Roth IRA. He is 30 when he makes this initial commitment and he gets right down to it. Let's fast forward this bunny's life 30 years. Now he's 60 years old. For the last 30 years, Tommy contributed his $6,000 per year. He paid all of his income taxes on that money before contributing it to his Roth IRA. For the last 30 years, that money has grown 100% tax-free. That little Roth IRA that Tommy faithfully saved $6,000 per year is now valued at over $986,000. The coolest part about this one 
$2 million is not the seemingly limitless trips to Peter Rabbit World, but that every single withdrawal from this account is tax free. There is literally no other investment account that boasts this kind of advantage. It is my opinion that if you can, you should hit your max contribution to your IRA every year. Every year, this is where all your investment money should go until you either are at the max yearly contribution or you are no longer eligible for the account. If you invested that $6,000 per year from the time you're 25 to 65, you would be looking at over two and a half million tax-free dollars to enjoy in retirement. That $6,000 per year breaks down to 500 bucks per month. If you can't do the 500, no freaking problem. I get it. Let's say you can save $200 into a Roth IRA per month. You would still have over 1 million tax-free dollars at the age of 65. So what have we learned? Number one, an IRA is an individual retirement account. A Roth IRA is an individual retirement account that grows free of capital gains tax. The max contribution to a Roth IRA every year is $6,000 thousand dollars if you're under 50 and seven thousand dollars if you're over 50. These amounts change every few years. If your tax status is married filing jointly, then both you and your partner can each contribute to your own Roth IRA account the max contribution limit of six thousand dollars if your combined income is less than hundred and ninety three thousand dollars annually. If your tax status is single, then you can make the max contribution of six thousand dollars if you make less than hundred and twenty two thousand dollars per year. Finally, you cannot withdraw money from your Roth IRA account without penalty until you're 59 and a half. Consider joining the ranks of our bunny friend, Mr. Tommy Wilkins. A Roth IRA is a screaming deal that's been gifted to us and we absolutely should take advantage of it for as long as we can. I would even go so far as to say that if you have $500 or less per month that you're planning on saving for retirement, you should make your Roth IRA 100% your focus after a of course, you put your money into an employer-sponsored matching account because who doesn't like free money? That is all, my tender goons. If you like this video, then do me the special honor of hitting that thumbs up on your way out. It helps the video get seen by more folks. This, once again, is an installment in the Beginner's Guide to Investing. You can expect more videos just like this coming at you hot, quick as a wink. I'm Johnny Strobelakos, this is Hell Yeah Money, and I hope you have a peaceful rest of your day.